Hey there, it's the holiday season as you can plainly see. So today I wanted to do a flip through of Tropical Christmas from Dover Publishing, part of their Creative Haven line. This was, uh, art is by Jessica uh, Mazurkowitz and it was published in 2020, so it should still be in print, but I happened to find it in a small store that had several of their Creative Haven books on sale, so I picked this up for three bucks. Not bad. Let's take a look. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Tropical Christmas by Jessica Mazurkowitz. I like this part. That reminds me of Magical Jungle by um, Joanna Bassford, but it's got a lot of potential. <clears throat> ah, festive pineapple. That's, that's actually kind of cute. And I could see leaving portions of this white quite easily. I don't need to do this background. I mean, you could do it if you want. I might just leave it plain. <clears throat> but lots of birds of paradise, lots of other stuff that you can do some work with, along with the, the requisite Christmas uh, glass ornaments. Santa hat's a nice touch here. That's nice. I'm liking this so far. <laughs> Two cans and flamingos with... with uh, reindeer reindeer antlers on them that's funny oh my yeah I could see having some fun with that a lot of little tiny areas though I'm not real fond of these little tiny dots and little tiny um, <clears throat> snowflakes and these little tiny patterns in here can are going to be quite difficult to get into you're going to need really, really sharp uh, pencils or some fine liners. Cookies! <coughs> uh, I just like this. This one is a, another good one for if you don't have much time to color. Like, you could just do the, the light strands. You can just do one or two light strands and save the bulk of it for later. Or one of the flowers or the... You know, there are lots of little areas on here that you could color if you don't have a whole lot of time. Cute. That, that'll be an interesting challenge. I'm not sure what to do with that. I mean, seashells don't have a whole lot of varied um, <clears throat> coloration in nature. But this would definitely give you the uh, opportunity to really <coughs> try um, some shading and um, some uh, more of your gradient technique. Ooh, again, a lot of really tiny areas. But that's cute. It's a cute. It's a cute picture. That's that's cute. I like that. I like the Santa hat in a bottle, and the looks like a kind of a, almost a melted snowman effect there. This one I find a little busy just because of all the patterns on the paper. The uh, wrapping paper is really kind of busy. Ooh, very relaxed Santa. I like that. Again, you could do some stuff with that. You're going to be using a lot of green here. And very busy with a lot of lot of tiny little spaces to get into but otherwise it's nice it's a nice picture more shells that's fun and those all the little uh, novelty lights again this one has a lot of opportunities like if you don't have a lot of time to color and you just want to color a couple of small spots you can color in just some bulbs or a little bit of a shell or you know part the top part of a tree or the bottom part of a tree so you have some options there for when you when you're limited on time because you know I'm always a big proponent of if you don't think you ha don't have time to color you do you just need the right book and that's uh, from the front page a little more stuff on it but still, that's that's really nice. 
The only thing that really makes this Christmas is the Santa hat. But, uh, you know, even besides that, that's a nice picture. And um, <clears throat> other books that I have by Jessica um, uh, Mazurkowitz have been uh, really thin-lined, whereas these, these black lines here are actually quite uh, wide enough that you can, but not, you know, huge. And baby, it's warm outside. Yes, it is. Again, a lot of these tiny little patterns, which are going to be difficult to get into, but... <clears throat> that should work. Sand Castle. Again, not, not a whole lot here Christmassy other than the hat and the wreaths, but it's, um, it's a nice picture and you could do stuff with that one. <coughs> Ornaments. Oh, that's fun. <coughs> Lots of opportunities there for gradient work. <coughs> I am so sorry. I... He's still coughing. Yule Tide. That's funny. Don't like the shape of the trees, though. Okay, that's cute. That's definitely a bit more Christmassy than some of the other <coughs> pictures. <coughs> Tiki mugs. That's fun. One with some lemons and some limes. You could have some fun there. You have to choose what kind of citrus these are. Ugly sweaters. You must have the requisite ugly sweaters. Don't worry. Beach happy. More cookies. Christmas is better at the beach. I'm assuming those are sand men, not snowmen. Watermelon and fruitcake. That's kind of fun. I like that. Reindeer poolside. <laughs> Big old pineapple again. Snow people. Uh, this is okay. Um, there's some problems here with some of the proportion being off, but uh, otherwise it's a nice sentiment. It's a, it's a nice little idea. Gingerbread tiki house. I like that. Definitely some things you can color in a short period of time. Lots of little candies that you could, if you have five or ten minutes, you can just color in a little bit of uh, the few of the candies and you would still have enough <coughs> time to complete them. Again, some proportions off with the car and the Santa, but otherwise it's it's a nice idea. It's a nice photo, and the it, the uh, fronds actually feel like there's wind going through them. That's one person's rendering of what that page would look like, and that is the book Tropical Christmas by Jessica Mazurkiewicz. So, <clears throat> all in all, it's a pretty decent book. Uh, there are several pages that I, I can see that I'm going to have some fun with. I might even do a video or two of just some of the small areas that I work on. And um, it should still be in print. So if any of those images gave you the hankering to get your pencils out, then you should still be able to get yourself a copy. Uh, thanks again for spending some time looking at my videos. I will be posting more content as I come up with it. Um, and thank you. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.